What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here for class comparisons, today we're going to be taking a look at Blazebinder vs Scarlet Sorceress. This was suggested quite a bit throughout the week on my videos, so I thought I'd take a look at this for you guys. This Scarlet Sorceress just came out last week, or the week before, whenever it was, and uh, Blazebinder has been out for a little while, it's the king of farming classes, well it's widely regarded as the king of far uh, farming classes. Um, and so it's interesting to take a look at this. It's also a good contrast because uh, Scarlet Sorceress is really easy to get, whereas Blazebinder is not. Uh, regardless though, leave your suggestions for other episodes of class comparisons in the future. Leave those in the comment section down below. While you're down there, join my Discord server. My Discord link is in the description. Also in the description is my link to my Twitter. Come follow me on Twitter. It's uh, I do post quite a bit about my videos and updates on when stuff's coming out and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested, follow me on Twitter. Uh, and also while you're down there, leave a like if you are interested in seeing more of this and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into this week's comparison. Okay, so first up we'll discuss Scarlet Sorceress. Uh, firstly, it has no mana issues at all. Some of the abilities don't consume mana, and the ones that do don't really consume that much. It does consume health instead though. It has pretty much no survivability issues, but you can run into trouble when using the abilities that consume health instead of mana. But you really just need to be careful. You pretty much just don't spam the ones that don't uh, consume mana and you'll be fine. Um, it has excellent damage output, however it can take a while to get to the stage which damage is good. Its last ability is a buff, similar to how Troll Spellsmith Sigil works, but it pretty much just buffs everything instead of just buffing the damage. The problem is that it takes 5 stacks to get to, it, get to its most powerful stage, and that is about 25 seconds worth of cooldowns and such. So before engaging in a fight, you pretty much need to wait 25 seconds before your class is dealing the most damage it can. You can engage in the fight before then, but you really aren't dealing as much damage as you really want to be doing. Nevertheless, when its abilities are in full strength, the class is a force to be reckoned with, and it is an excellent farming class. If you want a more in-depth explanation about Scarlet Sorceress, I have my guide linked down below in the description. Okay, so we'll now talk about Blazebinder. Blazebinder is pretty simple. I've talked about it lots of times before on my channel, so I'll just gloss over this quickly. It has an overall large damage output, uh, and that's from the fact that its abilities don't really deal that much damage by themselves. Like, the, I think the highest crits, you, well, the highest hits, rather, you can get are 1.4k, so it's really nothing too special. But none of the abilities uh, can miss, and it's D every ability applies a DOT, and they're all multi-target abilities. So what you're doing is you're essentially applying DOTs to every monster you're attacking, and you're applying multiple DOTs at once, and you're uh, dealing consistent damage, and that makes for actually really high damage output. Uh, it doesn't have mana issues at all, and it doesn't have survivability issues. Its HOT ability is really, really strong. If you want a more in-depth explanation about Blazebinder, literally watch any of my other class comparisons video videos about Blazebinder, or I'll have my guide linked down below in the description. I'll probably update that, actually. I didn't really do that one too well. If you guys want to see an updated Blazebinder uh, video, then by all means, leave leave your comment on that in the, in the comment section down below. Okay, so this was a really tough call to make, but uh, yeah, so as for our conclusion, Scarlet Sorceress has the edge in terms of higher crits and raw damage, but Blazebinder has that instant damage output, which is what people tend to look for in classes that you want to farm with. So, for example, if you're farming like, I don't know, like a Nolgath type thing, for example, I tend to farm a lot of Nolgath, so I, I'm going to use this as an example, and I know a lot of other people do as well, but this is not necessarily the only situation where this is applicable, but, uh, for example, I use Blazebinder because Blazebinder has that instant damage with its last ability specifically. Its last ability deals like 1.3k pretty much guaranteed on every uh, monster in the room, and then it has a little DOT to finish everything off. So, in terms of that asset there, it's so unbelievably useful, and I think that that's why I'm going to give the edge to Blazebinder. It's really, really close, and I think what's important to come away from this with here, guys, is Blazebinder is a tier 2, I believe it's, what are they called? They're either called tier 2 or tier 3 classes. I don't know what they're specifically called. I think it's actually called a tier 2 class. What that means is you need to farm multiple other classes to get Blazebinder, and that it makes it like really difficult to get. Whereas Scarlet Sorceress, in theory, is really easy to get. You could go to Slash Join Tower of Mirrors, just go to someone who's fighting, Scar fighting Scarlet already, and uh, you pretty much just need to kill her a couple of times. Well, for me, it was like over over 400 times. Uh, and uh, yeah, you get you get the class. It's pretty damn easy. Uh, any player can get it. It's a free class, and it's a uh, pretty easy, whereas Blazebinder is really, really difficult to get, so the important thing to draw away from this is that Scarlet Sorceress is a great class, it's super fun to use, it's really good for farming, it comes super close to Blazebinder, but I'm going to have to give the edge here to Blazebinder just slightly with that really useful instant damage, but Bla uh, Blazebinder is not fun to use at all, it's just a really boring class, Scarlet Sorceress is really fun to use, I actually am probably going to start using it full time now just because it's so fun, and uh, 
I mean, at the edge just goes to Blaze Binder in terms of usefulness in farming, but uh, I have a better time when I'm using Scout Sorceress, so I don't know. I don't know what you guys want to draw from that, but leave your comment on that in the comment section down below if you want to add to anything I've said in this video. I did gloss over quickly over the classes this time. I hope you guys uh, enjoy that rather than me going really in depth into it. Just leave your comment on that in the comment section down below as well. I'm interested to hear your feedback. If you guys do want me to go in depth again next week, then leave that in the comment section down below. I don't know. This is just like a feedback thing. I'm just switching things up a little bit. Uh, regardless though, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.